Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we need to talk about one of the most insane things that is currently going on and isn't getting enough coverage. I am talking about Disney's robots, okay? So if you didn't know, Disney, the company that makes all the Marvel movies, the company that makes many different things, all those theme parks, they actually make some very, very realistic robots, okay? And these robots aren't exactly humanoid robots, but they do possess emotion, they do possess character, and they are very, very lifelike in whatever nature they are designed in. Currently, what you're seeing on screen is Disney's new robot, okay? This one is one that is very, very emotional, and it has its own sense of character and adventure, and wonder. Now, I'm not sure what franchise this robot is going to be a part of. I'm not familiar with all of Disney's different IPs, but I do know that whatever this robot is, is it's definitely going to manifest in some other kind of way. Now, it could be the blueprint for an R2-D2 kind of robot, but the point is, is that Disney seems to be ahead of some of the major players in the AI space when it comes to creating advanced robots that do look pretty well. Now, the reason Disney's robot managed to come across my radar and some of the frequent viewers in the artificial intelligence space is because this new robot is utilizing some new technology. For once, Disney is deciding to use artificial intelligence and reinforcement learning to actually give the robot that its current character. So now this robot was developed by a team from Disney research in Zurich and it was introduced at the International Conference on Intelligent Robots and Systems in Detroit. The robot is mostly 3D printed and was developed in less than a year. It actually is quite, as we stated, highly expressive with the two antennas that can wiggle like cats ears and a head that moves up, down, around and tilts to mimic emotion through body language. Now the robot's movements are actually designed to be expressive without sacrificing its functionality and the Disney animators worked alongside roboticists to ensure that the robot could move expressively without falling over just like a real animated character. Disney also has designed the robotics platform to be hardware agnostic which allows the developers to apply the same principles to other characters that have completely different body styles. The animation inspired pipeline that Disney research developed also massively reduced the time needed to train a robot on new behaviors. A research scientist at Disney, they can now develop new robotic characters in months rather than years. Now, one thing to note about this robot, as we stated before, although it is quite similar to the Star Wars droid, this experimental robot is not expected to appear at any Disney parks anytime soon. However, the technology and the principles used in its development could potentially be applied to other concepts, possibly leading to actual Disney animatronics that can walk freely around Disneyland in the future. Now, the new Disney robot, the reason why this is so insane is because it's not to be confused with some of Disney's other robots. You see, there are two kinds of robots that Disney currently employs in its theme parks. We have, of course, the first one, which is the animatronics. Now, now animatronics are primarily used for entertainment purposes, especially in theme parks movies and television they are designed to mimic lifelike motions and sound for example the dinosaurs in jurassic park ride or the creatures in many of the disney attractions what's also interesting is that in terms of the control and intelligence animatronics follow a predefined sequence and don't have the ability to adapt to new situations or learn from their environment. Their movements and actions are usually pre-programmed or remotely controlled. Whereas with humanoid robots like Disney's new one possess artificial intelligence, allowing them to process data, learn from experience and ultimately adapt to new situations. They can also respond to changes in their environment and can often be trained or reprogrammed for different tasks. Now, animatronics in terms of their complexity and design often are quite realistic in terms of their aesthetics, but since they are designed to look like and move like the real creatures or characters, but their internal mechanisms are usually relatively symptoms. So overall, although animatronics and AI humanoid robots can resemble living beings, animatronics are typically pre-programmed machines meant for entertainment, whilst these new kind of AI humanoid robots have the capacity for learning and more complex interaction, and which now allows us to talk about the next point, which seems to be the future of Disney's robots. After this robot was unveiled at this recent conference, it shows us that this might be the next step in evolution in terms of all the AI robots that we see in these kinds of theme parks. I do believe that this is going to be the next step in evolution because the wave of AI apps and AI technology that is currently bursting into the tech industry, 
doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon, and it wouldn't be a surprise if this managed to spill over into robotics. What is also interesting that Disney has managed to do is they've actually managed to get these robots to move effectively. Now, one other company that many people do know that has managed to make their robots move very effectively is, of course, the company Boston Dynamics. You see, Boston Dynamics has been very famous and world-renowned for their robot called Atlas. Atlas was one of their main projects which they recently developed and it's pretty insane when we look at the movement capabilities that Atlas is capable of doing. Atlas was first showcased on YouTube where it went completely viral for doing many different stunts. One of the first stunts that Atlas managed to pull off was being able to walk around on a snowy terrain and in the video which boasts over 40 million views which was uploaded to YouTube seven years ago, you can see Atlas picking up packages which are extremely heavy and what's crazy is that in that same video you can also see it reacting to adversarial disturbance which essentially just means that when people move the objects in the environment, Atlas realizes this and of course, due to its nifty programming, it's able to relocate whatever object it was supposed to pick up and go ahead and pick that object up. So essentially, the reason this is actually starting to pick up steam is because people are starting to realize that Disney's robotics, if combined with AI, could present a very new wave of advanced AI robotics that could be quite similar to Boston Dynamics Atlas. Now, of course, Atlas seems to be miles ahead in terms of what Disney is doing, and the two companies do have vastly different aims in terms of where their robots are trying to go. Atlas is one of those robots that is aimed to help out society and navigate some of the rough terrains that humans might not be able to. But that doesn't stop Boston Dynamics from showcasing Atlas in a variety of scenarios with their most recent video of Atlas helping out in a virtual scaffolding yard. Now, one also interesting crossover that we do see from Boston Dynamics and Atlas is the term of parkour. Now, this is where you can see the incredible divide of these robots, because if we look at Atlas doing parkour, we can see that even though this might have been a predetermined sequence that does sometimes fail, which they did show us in the behind the scenes footage, it does show us that Boston Dynamics and Atlas, in terms of their robotic advancements, do pose some uh, more similarities than we did think. You see, this video is about Atlas doing complete parkour, and we do know that many of Disney's robots do quote unquote parkour. Disney have a Spider-Man robot that does do a jump across the top of one of its theme parks, and it does perform pretty well. In addition, they do have another robot called Judy, which is able to do many different acrobatic feats and does move quite well in terms of the dexterity. The robot Judy can be seen doing somersaults and can be seen walking around in Disney's recent conference. If we do manage to fast forward a couple of years, it won't be surprising if Disney does have some of the most advanced robots that we've ever seen. I do find it surprising that an entertainment company has such an advanced AI and robotics division to which they're competing with some of the other ma ma to which they're competing with some of the major AI companies. One of the things that we've seen in the recent months and years is that other companies are trying to get their piece of the pie in terms of the robotics industry. We know that that industry in the future might even be worth billions or trillions. So the shift to starting to have companies poise their focus towards humanoid robots comes at no surprise. The only question is who will be the market leader? And that is a very big question. Some of the companies that we do know, like Tesla, have already debuted their robots at conferences. And they've actually shown us in recent updates that they're quite promising in terms of the early results. And there are many other companies that are lining up to release their humanoid robots as soon as possible. The only problem that many of these companies do face is, of course, reliability. If some of these AI robots that do have their own autonomous behavior manage to make a severe mistake, the lawsuits floodgates could open up. And that is one thing that these companies aren't going to be fond of. So AI safety is going to be at the forefront of these companies' innovative strategies to ensure that their companies have long-lasting success. But at the same time, it does mean that these companies won't be too quick to deploy their newly made robots as there is some fear of things going wrong. And currently, we don't actually have any companies that have had a drastic incident to which they are the poster boy for what happens when you merge AI and robotics, which means that all these companies are going to be heavily focusing on AI safety as much as possible to ensure that they don't make the mistake.